reporting King Charles has cancer. Less than we do begin tonight with that troubling news from London. Buckingham Palace tonight reporting King Charles has cancer. Less than 18 months into his reign. The palace is not saying what type of cancer or what stage, except to say that it is not prostate cancer. The 75 year old monarch released from the hospital one week ago today after treatment for an enlarged prostate. It was during that hospital stay the unrelated cancer was found. Tonight, we have learned that King Charles has personally called his sons, William and Harry, to share with them the news. ABC News tonight confirming Prince Harry will be going home to the UK to be with his father. Tonight, President Biden just a short time ago reacting to the news and ABC's Maggie Ruley leading us off from London. Tonight, the shocking announcement from Buckingham Palace, King Charles diagnosed with cancer. The 75 year old monarch seen just Sunday waving at well-wishers attending church with his wife, Queen Camilla. This latest blow coming just days after he was released from the hospital after procedure for an enlarged prostate. Then the queen was asked how he was recovering. How's the boss doing? The palace saying it was thanks to this intervention that diagnostic tests identified a form of cancer. Not detailing the specific type or stage of the disease, only that it is not prostate cancer. Before being named king at age 73, after the death of Queen Elizabeth in September 2022, Charles was Britain's longest reigning heir. King Charles has only been king for less than 18 months. He waited decades to take on that role and he was very keen to hit the ground running. And this diagnosis coming now has forced him to take a big step back from that. Royal sources say the king called his siblings and children to personally tell them the news. Prince Harry expected to fly to London to visit his father in the coming days. The king receiving an outpouring of support from world leaders, including President Biden. I'm glad to call him. I'm concerned about him. Just heard his diagnosis. I'll be talking to him. Charles beginning outpatient treatment today and will step back from public duties in the latest health scare for the royal family. The palace sharing the king's prostate condition on January 17th, the same day it was revealed Catherine, Princess of Wales, underwent successful abdominal surgery. Though her condition was kept private, Kensington Palace said it was not cancerous. On January 26, the king was admitted to the same hospital for his procedure and visited the princess. He was discharged on January 29th, a week later, the palace sharing his cancer diagnosis, saying the king feels wholly positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. And David, while the king is stepping back from public events, we do expect him to continue on with his duties as head of state. We understand this includes his weekly audiences with the prime minister. Now, we also expect Prince William to step up and take on many of his father's responsibilities. While he also balances this with caring for his family at home. David. People in the UK and around the world pulling for the king tonight. Maggie Ruley leading us off. Thank you. King Charles has cancer. What do you know? What do you know? What a surprise, because sicknesses like this was reserved for the uh, bottom feeders, right? Because they eat the best foods, they drink the best wines, you know. They have it all. But some way, somehow, <laughs> he's suffering just like us, suffering just like the regular Joe out there. He's been diagnosed with cancer, you see? And if you know their track record, by day, I mean, this wicked royal family, their track record is not nice. They've done all kinds of wicked, abominable things, man. Just look into them from the uh, PDF file, if you know what I mean, right? To, I believe a, a couple of them went to Epstein Island also, right? So that's how they get down. So this is now the time to pay the piper. It says here, King Charles III has cancer. Buckingham Palace announces. You see, it's crazy, man. Because rarely you hear something like this happening to them, right? Because, you know, one of the things they do is heart transplant, right? Because, you know, their heart give up and they live a long life, right? But now this is happening. This is a telltale sign that the wicked elites are crumbling, man. If sicknesses that are reserved for us is <laughs> now beginning to touch them, right?
Because they've managed to pollute everything. They polluted the water. They polluted the air that we breathe. The food. Don't even get me started with the food, right? This is why we have all these sicknesses. You know? And they are the ones orchestrating it. The wicked elites, which he is a part of it. So now, he has to, excuse me, he has to face the repercussions of all their actions. This is the God of the Bible judging his ass. This is judgment on his ass, whether he knows it or not. He's been judged. He is being judged, right? It says here, King Charles III announces cancer of Buckingham Palace. And, uh, King J Charles III has cancer, Buckingham Palace announces. And it goes on to say that. But uh, it says, uh, during the king's recent hospital procedure for benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concerns was noted. Buckingham Palace said in a statement, subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer. Hey, who would have thought? This is Job, the fourth chapter and the eighth verse. It says, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhah HaKudash. Double honors to apostles and elders of great millstone who taught us this truth and continue to teach us this truth. Peace, salutation, shalom, shalom, shalom. To all you hopeful elect, Aki, I'm out there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. And to you, brothers and sisters that are listening and learning, and to the brothers that are teaching, to you, I say shalom. So, uh, yeah, I have to pull this scripture out because that's exactly what it is. It says here, yeah, Job, the fourth chapter, and the eighth verse, as even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same, like I was saying earlier. They are the ones that push all these GMO foods, all these uh, chemtrails in the air to, to keep us sick. There is this uh, Rockefeller uh, notebook or some some kind of book he wrote that came out a while ago about how they would keep us sick, right? How they keep the people sick, right? You know, poison our food, poison our water. I mean, that, that was a whole, there was a, a lady that was written like an excerpt from that book. One of the Rockefellers, right? How, you see what I'm saying? And this is the sentiment of the uh, wicked elites, which King Charles is part of that. This is why all the uh, world leaders are showing their concern, you know, him being diagnosed with cancer and all that, right? Because that's what they are. They are the rulers, but they're ruled in wickedness. So now, sicknesses that were supposed to be for us, for the bottom feeders out there, has jumped upon them. <laughs> so right there, it shows you that the wicked elites are going down, man. They are going down. And they, they will go down hard. That's why the scriptures talk about, I beheld Satan falling like lightning. Right, so that's their rulership. They, they will fall so fast, they will fall too fast. And Satan, it's not, uh, means simply means an adversary. Adversary of what? An adversary of righteousness. Right. So anybody can be Satan if you are, if you go against something that is righteous, if you go against something that is good, through the scriptures. Right. So you become Satan. So Satan. It's not just the spiritual demon, Satan, but also the wicked elites because they are totally against anything that is good. This is why they push the Mo alphabet lifestyle. This is why they push uh, all kinds of wickedness, right? Uh, women over the men and so on and so forth. They all push this madness. Uh, they push, what is it? Uh, to reduce the population, you know, they're known for that. So now here it is, their own population is beginning to be reduced. <laughs> you know, they're, be, they're getting touched now. The Mr. Untouchable is now being touched. So let's read this again. Even as I have seen, 
they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Right? That's exactly what it is. He's beginning to reap all the wickedness he's sown. Right? All the wickedness he's, he's done upon the earth. This is his time to reap it. And he's just one of many. All of them about to go through some hardcore time that like never before. You know, because they think it's just for us to catch hell. Nah, man, you will catch hell too. And all that money you have, all that wealth, power, and connection is not going to save you from the judgment of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's get a. Uh... So this is Nahum, the first chapter. The subheading is God is awesome. Of course, God is awesome, man. When you see news like this, it proves to you that God is awesome. Because here it is, the people that try to uh, constantly keep you sick, constantly pollute everything that you touch, constantly keep you going back and forth to the hospital. Here it is, it's beginning to happen to them also. You know, even with them eating the best of the best, you know. But Most High found a way to judge their ass. You see, it says... uh. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of vision of Nahum, the El Elkoshite. It says the second verse: The Most High is jealous, and the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai revengeth. The Lord revengeth, and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, like we went through the the. Uh, uh, the word Satan, which means adversary, you know, someone that is your enemy, especially in this regard, the enemy of righteousness, because that's what the God of the Bible stands for, right? Righteousness, you see? So he, he, he revengeth against his enemy because all they've pushed is nothing but wickedness, man. You know, that's all they, those are, they've managed to push. You see what I'm saying? Now they're, they're getting touched. It says, uh, and he res reserveth wrath for his enemies. Exactly. The third verse says, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Right. So they can, they can only get away with wickedness for so far. Right. Because a lot of them, man, they, Man, if you, if you really should be aware of what they've done, <laughs> it probably keep you up at night, you know? What all this so-called royal family, you know, all this uh, uh, wicked elites that are in power, right? The Rothschild, Rockefellers, Oppenheimers, the Pons, Gettys, all of them guys, right? If you have an inkling of all the wickedness they've done, man, you puke. I'll go as far as to say you won't even be able to sleep. It will haunt you. Even though you're not the one that did it, just to know that somebody is capable of such evil will keep you up, man. <laughs> you know? So this is the time for them to be touched. So like he says here, the Most High will not at, at all acquit the wicked. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> you know, the famous uh, John and Cochran with the O.J. Simpson, right? The trial. But this, nobody's acquitting this one because the glove fits perfectly with these guys, man. So it's time for them to pay the piper. So the Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of the feet. And the clouds are the dust of his feet, right? And the point being, he will not at all acquit the wicked. And Prince Charles being diagnosed with uh, cancer is a part of that. You know, I know he's losing his mind right now, you know, wondering how the hell did he fall victim to such a sickness? Because it's not supposed to be something he will go through. <laughs> it was supposed to be for us. But look at him now. Look at him now. Going through it, man. Going through it. Whatever form of cancer that is, because that's still keeping it, keeping it on the hush hush. I wouldn't blame him for that. Look at him. Through. Yeah, man, that's a little bit of something, man. <laughs> I just saw the article. 
had to crack up. <laughs> I was cracking up. Like, look at these guys, man. You know, he's been diagnosed with cancer. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, man? Only 18 months into his reign, he's been diagnosed with cancer. And 18 is, I believe that guy says 18. And if it's 18, that's triple six. Six plus six is 12 plus another six is 18. So there's it right there. And with that, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukhah Kudash, double on us to apostles and elders of Great Millstone. See you next time, Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.